Yo, what is up you guys, this is Trucker 6 and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Anyway, today guys, I am back here, and I'm doing another little channel update thingy majiggy, PC update thingy majiggy. So a while ago, I actually did a video saying, uh, I was, I, I think I put it on private now, so you guys can't see it anyway. But I actually did a, a video a while ago saying I was getting a new PC, and uh, I, I listed a lot of spec specifications or specs for a PC that I was going to get. Which I never got, and I'm glad of it, because now I know I have a bit more PC knowledge. I know it was not the best PC. The only reason I, I, I at the time, when I was a PC noob, over these, like, three, four months, I know a lot more about PCs now. So, it's really good. I'm glad I just didn't go straight into it. I would have done it, which would have been a shame, because I wouldn't have got hardly as much FPS as I will now. And uh, the reason the reason I didn't get it was because we were moving house, and Mum was like, Oh, wait until we move to house before you buy a PC. I was like, okay, and then she was like, oh, wait until desk comes, and now I'm finally my desk has come, everything's back, I'm back on ho from holiday, still on some holiday though, with uh, school, so that's pretty cool, but yeah, that's the only reason I didn't get it, and I'm happy now, because uh, I, I did want the FX6300, which is not bad, but then it came with a poor graphics card, which is like the R240 uh, or something, which is a very cheap graphics card, and it, it, it's very low, it would get me like maybe 60, 50, 60 FPS on Minecraft, with like normal settings, best settings probably like 30 to 40. It'll be worse than this because uh, uh, that was empty and stuff. But anyway, yeah, I'm back to my senses now. And I've, I've been looking at PCs for a long time now, and I finally came up with a pretty good deal that I'm gonna go for. It's a, a PC that is uh, on this website called fragit.com. Very cool website. I recommend you check them out. It's called. It's it's part of their side window series and uh, go over the PC specs uh, it's called the side window plus OC which means overclocking now some people are a bit urged against overclocking and originally I was because I was thinking overclocking oh doesn't that uh, just kill your PC or make the lifespan like a lot less and yeah, I've had a word with the the guys over there at Fragit and uh, ooh, oh no <laughs> taking ad ah I really need to reinstall Google Chrome because I've heard of spam. But it'll be fine because when I get my new PC, it'll be fine anyway. Alright, uh, okay, so back to the PC. It is the i5 46090K. And for some people will be like, oh, why don't you get i7? i7 is good and it's also expensive. But with this i5 overclocked to up to 4.6 gigahertz, it's going to be nearly as good. And even though people are like, oh, i7 is the best, i7 is only the best when you have the best parts of it. And so yeah, I wouldn't be getting the best parts of it because the best parts would be like two grand. So basically, I'm getting this one here. So it's up to 4.6 gigahertz. So that's gonna be pretty cool because my PC at the moment is 2.2, near 2.4. So it's gonna be like nearly double my processor speed. So that's gonna be pretty cool. But it's it's not all about gigahertz as well. But it is a very good because it's Intel and Intel is very highly thought of. It's, it, there's like a fight between Intel and AMD, same as like Xbox and PS. But yeah, Intel is very high thought of. It's more expensive, but I think it's slightly better in a way. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going with Intel. It has an uprated liquid CPU cooler, Corsair H80i 120mm. So it's a pretty good uh, water cooler. I was talking to the guys, and they said that the PC could get loud uh, when it's overclocked. And uh, But I'm there, they're going to keep it as silent as they can. And uh, hopefully it won't make that much of loud through my uh, pop filter. And it's going to be under my desk out of the way anyway. And I'm and I'm with the, the case I'm getting, which is the... Oh my god, I always forget the name of it. Let's see if I, I did do the word. Eh. Uh, it's the any XT... Wait, 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 wait. I will get this. <laughs> I will get this. Uh, it, is, it is. It's in white, though. It's a pretty sexy case. It's like... Literally the nicest case of it. Probably one of the nicest cases I've ever seen. It is the NZXT, not the NXT. <laughs> NZXT Phantom 420 Mid Tower Gaming Case. Um, it's pretty cool. It does have a few things on it, which I like about it. It has, um, firstly, it looks really nice. It's got a side window as well. But what's really cool about it is it has some uh, buttons at the top. Which I like to turn on and all that stuff. But you can actually turn down the fans from the case. So that's pretty cool. My chair's like making a weird click. <laughs> Lol. Right. Uh, so that's pretty cool and then the next thing we have is the actual memory it has 8 gigabyte of uh, memory that are running at 1866 
I, it's not pronounced mega. Actually, yeah, it's pronounced mega hertz, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Kingston HyperX, pretty good RAM. Then we have the graphics card or video cards, as uh, American people call it. I'm just saying that. I know video cards are popular. I presume it's American. God knows. Uh, Nvidia GTX 760, which is it is a uh, it's 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 like it's a really good graphics card. I may upgrade it in the future, but for the time being, it's absolutely fine. I've seen it run shaders at like 40 to 60. I've even run it, seen it run at 80 FPS with the best shader on Minecraft. So you know that's with recording as well, obviously. So if I can run the best shader at 60 FPS, that is great because I've seen videos where people with the like GTX 780 <laughs> run my shaders at like uh, 60 FPS. So yeah, that's I saw that in a video and, and the other videos I've seen with like 40 to 60 FPS. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The next thing we have is the the storage or the hard drive where we have a 120 gigabyte SSD. So that's not obviously not a lot of space, but SSDs are what you make your PC fast. So it'll give it a huge, a really fast startup time. So it'll be like, it's on. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. It will typically take like 10 to 20 seconds. I don't know, but SSDs do make it a lot faster, and they also help with FPS, so that's going to be pretty cool, um, pretty good SSD, then we also have a one terabyte excess space, and I also have another terabyte that my uncle got me for my birthday, which was uh, yesterday, and uh, that is external, so I can just plug that in a USB, and that's another terabyte, like, boom. the power supply is 600 watts, uh, pretty good at uh, Corsa, CX series, so uh, pretty good power supply, not like a cheap and cheerful one you can get, which, uh, break really fast is course so and it's 80, 80 plus certificated then we have the operating system which i'm going to be getting windows 7 i'm either going to be getting home premium or professional i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i'm going to be looking around on the website on websites and trying to get it for the cheapest and then uh, i'm going to be giving the guys over at fragit the code uh and then uh video doing that so they can overclock it because they i'm not gonna buy windows from them actually i might and i might end up but i'm first thing gonna look up if i can get one cheaper on the website because there's some like website you should come to get it dirt cheap and uh yeah so i'm gonna be looking for if i can get like dirt cheap windows or there's the other thing as i was talking to them earlier there was actually a thing where uh, you can actually reuse the windows from like a laptop or whatever so i have windows 8 on this computer so i don't really want that but on my old laptop which is really bad uh actually broke that did have windows 7 on it so i'm gonna try and look for this that after this video and if it has the windows code in it they can use that windows so that will get me save me like 50 pounds or something so that's pretty cool anyway the pc is 969 pound which you're probably thinking is quite expensive for windows uh, not windows <laughs> for uh, i5 but it's actually not because you you can go ahead and see like i7 so like 600 pound and be like oh that's so cheap but they're cheap because they have bad parts. This they don't sell any bad parts. It's all good stuff. I sh if I can I can link you guys later. But uh, it's it's pretty cool. And I am back. Just had a little uh, little break there. Anyway, <laughs> I really need to get into the habit of speaking into the microphone. I sometimes I just look away and talk like that. It obviously makes me quite a lot quieter. And yeah, and I can turn myself up on the actual microphone. But the quality does downcrease as I'm doing right now. And you can see the quality. And my voice is getting higher. But the quality does downcrease. So I'm going to load that back down. It's recommended that for the best highest quality. You put it on the lowest. But obviously with the lowest. It's making me really quiet. So yeah. Uh, I'm just messing around a little bit with that mic at the moment. So that's why in some videos I may be a little bit quiet. And uh, I need to get into the habit of speaking more like this. Instead of more like that. Because now I'm like further back. I should really be like this like that <laughs> but anyway back to the actual pc why is my chat clicking it's like this special um never done that before that's weird okay so back to the actual website and stuff frag it um all right uh the pc is 969 pound which is probably the expensive but like i said it's not i went ahead and built this pc on cyber power and on pc specialist and on cyber power it was 1000 220 pound with exact spots exact parts and the overclocking to the amount that i had it's going to be overclocked on this one and then i went ahead and built it on pc specialist and it was something like 1300 or something yeah yeah it's 300 300 like five pound or something so yeah it's 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 really cheap this website even though when you first look at it you may think it's 
uh, expensive, but that's the only reason it's maybe more than the PCs you would look at, like Cyberpower, is because they use all good parts. None of it's cheap. It's got SSDs in here to increase the speed of the PC and the actual game. It's got good power supplies, no cheap and cheerful. It's got operating system. It's got good graphics card, not like on Cyberpower, where they have this offer, where it comes with the 750T, which is actually not the best graphics card, and it, uh, yeah. And on Cyberpower, they use fake benchmarks as well. And yeah, <laughs> and a good RAM, everything's good about it, not like cheap RAM or anything, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, this PC should perform pretty well, I've uh, seen videos on YouTube where this PC's managed to, uh, well with this graphics card, it's managed to perform 300 to 600 FPS playing Minecraft, and when you record with fraps, it should lower it a bit, to, I think it's 200 to 500 but in the future, I'm going to actually be using my Elgato to record my computer because you can actually do that. And the advantages for recording with an actual capture card is it does not use your CPU. It does not record. Oh, shut up, you stupid chat. <laughs> it does not record. Uh, it does not use your CPU to record actually in game. What it does is it actually uses a HDMI cable to take it to another laptop or PC, records it on that, uses the CPU on that and then makes it into a HD format. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. That's why when I used to do Xbox videos, you never used to get like frame rate loss on Xbox when you use like an Elgato or whatever. So hopefully I'll be able to set up so I can record on my laptop uh, with the Elgato from the footage from my PC. So yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Can't wait to get my new PC. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to do some videos in shaders, uh, like ultra shaders and that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is Truckers HD and I have no idea what footage is on the background. Peace. Yo, what is up you guys, this is Truckers HD and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Anyway, today guys, I am back here and I'm doing another little channel update thingy majiggy, PC update thingy majiggy. So a while ago, I actually did a video saying, uh, I was, I, I think I put it on private now, so you guys can't see it anyway. But I actually did a, a video a while ago saying I was getting a new PC and uh, I, I listed a lot of specs, specifications or specs for a PC that I was going to get, which I never got. And I'm glad of it because now I know I have a bit more PC knowledge. I know it was not the best PC. The only reason I, I, I at the time when I was a PC noob over these like three, four months, I know a lot more about PCs now. So it's really good. I'm glad I just didn't go straight into it. I would have done it, which would have been a shame because I wouldn't have got hardly as much FPS as I will now. And uh, the reason the reason I didn't get it was because we were moving house. My mum was like, oh, wait until we move to house before you buy a PC. I was like, okay, and then she was like, oh, wait until your desk comes, and now I'm finally my desk has come. Everything's back, I'm back on ho from holiday. Still on some holiday though, with uh, school, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's the only reason I didn't get it, and I'm happy now, because uh, I, I did want the FX6300, which is not bad, but then it came with a poor graphics card, which is like the R240 uh, or something, which is a very cheap graphics card. And it, 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 it's very low, it would get me like maybe 60, 50, 60 FPS on Minecraft with like normal settings best settings probably like 30 to 40 it would be worse than this because uh uh that was md and stuff but anyway yeah i'm back to my senses now and I've, I've been looking at pcs for a long time now and i finally came up with a pretty good deal that i'm gonna go for it's a, a pc that is uh on this website called fragit.com very cool website i recommend you check them out it's called it's it's part of their side window series and uh, go over the PC it's actually not because you you can go ahead and see like i7 so like 600 pound and be like oh that's so cheap but they're cheap because they have bad parts this they don't sell any bad parts it's all good stuff I sh if I can I can link you guys later but uh it's, it's pretty cool and I am back just had a little uh, little break there. Anyway, <laughs> I really need to get into the habit of speaking into the microphone. Uh, sometimes I just look away and talk like that. It obviously makes me quite a lot quieter. And yeah, and I can turn myself up on the actual microphone. But the quality does down increase as I'm doing right now. And you can see the quality. <laughs> and my voice is getting higher. But the quality does down increase. I'm going to lower that back down. It's recommended that for the best, highest quality. You put it on the lowest. But obviously with the lowest, it's making me really quiet. So yeah, 
Uh, I'm just messing around a little bit with that mic at the moment. So that's why in some videos I may be a little bit quiet. And uh, I need to get into the habit of speaking more like this instead of more like that. Because now I'm like further back. I should really be like this. Not like that. <laughs> but anyway, back to the actual PC. Why is my chat clicking? It's like really special. Um, I've never done that before. That's weird. Okay, so back to the actual website and stuff. Frag it. Um, Alright, uh, the PC is £969. Which is probably the expensive, but like I said, it's not. I went ahead and built this PC on Cyberpower and on PC Specialist and on Cyberpower. It was £1,220 with exact spots, exact parts, and the overclocking to the amount that I had. It's going to be overclocked on this one. And I went ahead and built it on PC Specialist and it was something like 1300 or something. Yeah, yeah, it's 300 three hundred like five pound or something so yeah it's 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 really cheap this website even though when you first look at it you may think it's uh expensive but that's the only reason it's maybe more than the pcs you would look at like cyberpower is because they use all good parts none of it's cheap it's got move it let's see if i i'll give it away eh. uh, it's the any xt wait 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 i will get this <laughs> i will get this uh, it is it is it's in white though it's a pretty sexy case it's like literally the nicest case of it probably one of the nicest cases i've ever seen it is the nzxt not the nx <laughs> nzxt phantom 420 mid tower gaming case um it's pretty cool it does have a few things on it which i like about it it has um firstly it looks really nice it's got a side window as well but what's really cool about it is it has some uh, buttons at the top which i like to turn on and all that but you can actually turn down the fans from the case, so that's pretty cool. My chair's like making a weird click. <laughs> Lol. Right, uh, so that's pretty cool. And then the next thing we have is the actual memory. It has 8 gigabyte of uh, memory that are running at 1866. It's not pronounced mega. Actually, yeah, it's pronounced mega, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Kingston HyperX, pretty good RAM. Then we have the graphics card or video cards as... Uh, American people call it. I'm just saying that. I know video cards are popular. I presume it's American. God knows. Uh, Nvidia GTX 760, which is which is a uh, it's 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 like it's a really good graphics card. I may upgrade it in the future, but for the time being, it's absolutely fine. I've seen it run shaders at like 40 to 60. I've even run it, seen it run at 80 FPS with the best shader on Minecraft. So you know that's with recording as well, obviously. So if I can run the best shader at 60 FPS. That is great because I've seen videos where people with the like GTX 780 <laughs> run my shaders at like uh, 60 FPS. So yeah, that's I saw that in a video and, and the other videos I've seen where it's like 40 to 60 FPS. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The next thing we have is the the storage or the hard drive. Well, we have a 120 gigabyte SSD. So that's not obviously not a lot of space, but SSDs are what you make your PC fast. So it'll give it a huge, a really fast startup time. So it'll be like. It's on. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. It will typically take like 10 to 20 seconds. I don't know, but SSDs do make it a lot faster. And they also help with FPS. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, pretty good SSD. Then we also have a one terabyte excess space. And I also have another terabyte that my uncle got me for my birthday, which was uh, yesterday. And uh, that is external. So I can just plug that in a USB. And that's another terabyte. Like, boom. The power supply is 600 watts. Uh, pretty good at uh, Corsair. CX series, so a uh, pretty good power supply, not like a cheap and cheerful one you can get, which uh, break really fast, is course, so, and it's AC, 80 plus certificated. Then we have the operating system, which I'm going to be getting Windows 7. I'm either going to be getting Home Premium or Professional. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm going to be looking around on the website, on websites, and trying to get it for the cheapest. And then uh, I'm going to be giving the guys over at Fragit the code uh, and then uh, be uh, doing that so they can overclock it because I'm not going to buy Windows from them. Actually, I might and I might end up, but I'm firstly going to look up if I can get one cheaper on the website because there's some like website issues to come to get it dirt cheap. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be looking for if I can get like dirt cheap Windows or there's the other thing as I was talking to them earlier, there was actually a thing where... Uh, you can actually reuse the windows from like a laptop or whatever. So I have Windows 8 on this computer, so I don't really want that. But on my old laptop, which is really bad, uh, actually broke. That did have Windows 7 on it. 
So I'm going to try and look for the, that after this video. And if it has the Windows code in it, they can use that Windows. So that will get me, save me like £50 or something. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, the PC is £969, which you're probably thinking is quite expensive for Windows. Uh, not Windows. <laughs> for uh, i5. But it's, uh, it's called the Side Window Plus OC, which means overclocking. Now, some people are a bit urged against overclocking. And originally, I was because I was thinking, overclocking, oh, doesn't that uh, just kill your PC or make the lifespan like a lot less? And yeah, I've had a word with the, the guys over there at Fragit. And they're... Oh no. <laughs> Taking ad. Ah! I hate it. I really need to reinstall Google Chrome because I haven't heard the spam. But it'll be fine because when I get my new PC, it'll be fine anyway. Alright, uh, okay, so back to the PC. It is the i5 4690K. And some people will be like, oh, why don't you get i7? i7 is good and it's also expensive. But with this i5 overclocked to up to 4.6 gigahertz, it's going to be nearly as good. And even though people are like, oh, i7's the best. i 7 is only the best when you have the best parts of it. And so, yeah, I wouldn't be getting the best parts of it because the best parts would be like two grand. So, basically, I'm getting this one here. So, it's up to 4.6 gigahertz. So, that's going to be pretty cool because my PC at the moment is 2.2, near 2.4. So, it's going to be like nearly double my processor speed. So, that's going to be pretty cool. But it's, it's not all about gigahertz as well. But it is a very good because it's Intel and Intel is very highly thought of. It's, it, there's like a fight between Intel and AMD, same as like Xbox and PS. But yeah, Intel is very high thought of. It's more expensive, but I think it's slightly better in a way. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going with Intel. It has an operated liquid CPU cooler, Corsair HATI 120mm. So it's a pretty good uh, water cooler. I was talking to the guys and they said that the PC could get loud uh, when it's overclocked and uh but i'm mean, gonna they're gonna keep it as silent as they can and uh hopefully it won't make that much of loud through my uh pop filter and it's gonna be under my desk out of the way anyway and i'm and i'm with the, the case i'm getting which is the oh my god i always forget the name